Hey guys, welcome back. I am continuing to experiment with the flower, the 3D flower. But today I thought I'm going to try out some gold alcohol ink. This one's got a little ball in the bottom, so I'm going to give it a really good shake. The other colours don't have the balls. I think it's just the metallics that do. You can hear it in there. So anyway, um, same as last time. I've got my two 13 centimetre, uh, nearly said canvas. <laughs> I'm not doing an acrylic pour. It's a coaster. Right, I've got my resin. It's getting warm. It's not too bad though. I'm using the Barnes Clarity. It's a two of the big one and one of this one. I've mixed up 110 grams of the big one, the heavy one, and 50 grams of the smaller one. Right, uh, let's start weighing. I am going to do, um, because I've only got the two little coasters here, I'm going to do 20 grams, what I usually do. 20 grams of white and 20 grams of gold. Let's see how that goes. And I thought I'd put some um, gold leaf flakes in the middle instead of glitter, just for a change. Besides, I'm running out of gold glitter. <laughs> I ordered some more on eBay today, so I guess it won't be here for about a week. Things take a long time to, to get here at the moment, don't they? So that's, um, yeah, just the glitter flakes. So I've put a few in there. Hopefully that's enough. Just add a little bit of resin to that and see if that's enough. I don't need the scale anymore. I can move that. Put a little bit more in. I don't want a lot in the center. I don't want it to be too overpowering, just a little bit. I just have to make sure I break it up so there's no big blobs in there. I did separate the leaves because, you know, they sort of, I guess in, initially they come in a book, so they're all sort of, the pages are all joined together. So you have to separate them. That should be enough, I think, for two centers. Okay. Um, and the rest I'll just pour in here. Let's see if I can get it equal actually. Let's zero that. Um, I'll start with 40 because I'm not, oh okay we've got 43 because I'm not sure. Let's go to 45. Not sure how much I've got. So that one's got 45 in it. It's got 50, so you could have a little bit more. And you could have a little bit more. So what are you? You're on 53 at the moment. You don't have to do this, but I just thought, well, if they're going to be a set, I might as well have them. Oh, no, that's not right. What happened there? 100. I guess with the actual coaster, it might weigh 100. Yeah, it does. Okay, so 102. And 100. All right, let's just put another little tiny bit in there. Okay, so you're 103. And then this one can have the, the rest. And um, I think that will probably be about it. So they've got like... Well, they haven't got 100 in there. They're, they weigh 100 with the actual coaster. So let's move that out of the way. Right, I feel better about the fact that they're equal now <laughs> rather than having one really thick one and one thin one because I've had that happen before and it was most annoying. Right. Now, the other thing I need to do is just go around there with my little back end of the skewer, not the pointy end. 
and just get the, any bubbles that are trapped in the edges there to come up to the surface. Uh, and then we'll torch them. Got to be really careful with these white silicon molds, the El Cheapo ones. They um, they melt really easily, and um, your coast, your resin will stick to them. So yeah, you got to be really careful with these ones. Right now, let's start with the white that can go over there. Using the Cast and Craft. And I'm going to put in three drops. I cut the top off just because you can't squeeze it out otherwise. You're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing like mad. One. Two. Three. So that's three for that one. I'm going to put three in the other one as well. One. Two, three. Okay, yeah, I just sliced the top off. It's go easy though, like slice a bit off, squeeze it, slice a bit more off, squeeze it until you're happy with the amount that you're getting off. I probably took too much off on mine. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in two drops of the white pinata alcohol ink into my white. So that's 20 grams of resin, three drops of pigment paste, and two drops of the alcohol ink. I like the alcohol ink, it sort of helps make like a wispy effect. Now, I'm assuming that this gold is not going to really change the color very much. So I've got some um, Perlex Brilliant Gold Mica Powder just to deepen that gold because I really don't think this is going to do much to the white. So we'll do two drops, same as I did with the other one. Actually, I think I'll do three because I'm going to add a little bit of the mica powder and that'll thicken it. So just an extra drop of that. Look at it sitting on top. Wish it would stay like that, but it won't. No, a tiny little bit like that and we'll see what happens. It's probably just going to stay white. I hope it goes a little bit gold. Okay, that hasn't done much at all. I have ordered some um, gold metallic pigment paste. See, that hasn't done much at all, has it? Um, what else can I add in? I was thinking I could add a tiny bit of, um, because the mica powder is going to take a while to, to do anything. I was thinking maybe some of my 24K gold extreme sheen paint, like a drop of that. What do you reckon? Just hang 10 while I go and get it. Uh, where is it? No, oh, no, that's vintage brass. They look very similar. Um, oh, I've hardly got any gold left. I've been down to one bottle. This one here, Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Like I use that for my acrylic pouring. You have to shake it really well though, because it's got like this layer of oil over the top. Because look, that hasn't done anything. I wonder if this will do anything. I'll just wipe that stick so I can stick it in my paint. Give it a bit of a stir. Again, I don't know what it's going to do. I'm just going to dip the end of the stick in there. Not doing much at all. I wonder if it'll still work like Bloom if I keep adding to it. And I have to add more to it if I want it to be any sort of decent gold I think. It's still not dark though is it? Look at it. 
It's like a caramelly color. Mm. Let's add another two drops of, or just a little squirt of gold. Maybe doing this was better. But I didn't want to add too much, you see, because it'll go, um, it'll thin it out. Be interesting to see whether or not you can actually, you know, add so much to the resin and see if it still works. I'll put a little bit more of that pigment powder in there. Now that's pretty much all I can add. I really don't think I can add anything else to it. it just looks, <laughs> it just looks like a beige colour. I guess once it dries, it might be all right. Let's just hope it still works. Now my resin was sitting for 25 minutes after I finished stirring it before I started the video. Now I wrote down that I have to start piping at 4.40, which is in five minutes. So I've got five minutes. It doesn't look very nice, does it? <laughs> okay, maybe it'll look better once it's dry. Now let's put the, the white in here hope that gold works after all that stuff I've added to it. We shall see. I like to experiment. But hopefully when my gold pigment paste arrives, um, it might work better. Maybe. But it's certainly not an opaque colour, a metallic, generally. So... It's not doesn't have a very dense color to it this just looks like a sand color well that was disappointing I tell you I've done uh, what have I done five four or five flowers today um, one's worked <laughs> oh. one set up on me really quickly one was too thin. Actually, no, the fourth one. It's the fourth fourth one I've done. It looks all right in there. It might be all right once it's dry. Stuck. All right, let's get the gold in the center. That looks pretty. I can't believe I haven't done a 3D flower with um, gold leaf. I've only ever done it with um, glitter. This is really pretty. It's not very thick. Although it's probably, I've added more resin to it because I didn't want it like really chunky. And the thing with the glitter, you know, when you turn your coaster over and you've got glitter, you get this huge big blob of glitter and it's just like a round circle. Whereas with something like this, it's a little bit more organic, I think, I'm hoping. And um, it might kind of disperse a little bit or spread a little bit so that we don't get that total round circle see that that's what I'm after see it's sort of a little bit sort of jagged on the edges not a total round circle all right happy with that that's looking good now let me torch Too much. Get out of there. Where does, seriously, where does all this stuff come from? Now, I want to make this about three millimeters. I put a little line on there. I measured it on my ruler and I put a little line on there to make it three millimeters. <clears throat> when it was cut. Let's have a look. One, two, three. A little bit more. Three to four. <clears throat> three to four millimetres, I think, works well. Well, for me, anyway. Oh, that was a bit much. Okay, you're closer to four. That's all right. You just won't push as hard. Okay, <clears throat> now, 
Um, I'm going to do some <clears throat> white. Oh, one of them. I didn't. I didn't tuck that in my hand, and I dragged it right through and ruined my my pattern. Yeah, I haven't had a good day. <laughs> As I said in my post earlier, when you're doing these flowers, it's one step forward and two steps back. I think, but I'm experimenting. <clears throat> And I'm writing down what I do so that I can hopefully replicate if I get a good one. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to do quite a lot of little of little petals, I think. <clears throat> and I'm not going to continue that same shape. I'm just going to, with the gold, I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit. Okay, here we go with the gold. I think this hole's a little bit bigger, so I won't squeeze so hard because it's all dribbling out already. Although it's got more ink in it, hasn't it? <laughs> you can see it's much thinner. I'm not squeezing at all. But yeah, I did put extra ink in, which has thinned it out. So I guess that's to be expected. I feel as if I'm not going to have enough white. I don't think I'm going to have enough white to go. You know how I like to have uh, white on my outside? On the outside edge, I don't think that's going to happen today. Might have to have gold on the outside. I haven't got any more. I'm trying not to squeeze this gold because it is so thick already, uh, thin already. There we go, one more. Mm, I wish I had some more white. I'm going to see how much I can... I should always... I should make up extra white, shouldn't I? I'm going to see if I can just get a little bit of white in. Even if I can only do one coaster. Oh, look at that. There's a tiny little bit left. <gasps> Don't waste any jewelry. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. Uh, Woohoo, I did it. <gasps> It's empty. I've still got some gold left though. All right, let me just chuck that. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take my glove off so I can pick up my heat gun. Look at the gold, how it's already spreading. I said I don't know whether it's because it's too thin or because I just made the hole bigger. Like, I don't know. Maybe a bit of both. All right, let's start pushing this. From the outside in. It's a bit hard to reach that last row of the white because the side of the coast is in the way so I can't really push it in but all I can do is heat it and hopefully that will still work. it any more than that because it's starting to blow away so now 
Now we just wait. Let me get you down. You can wait with me. Okay. Auto focus. Now we just have to wait, cross our fingers that it's going to bloom. Is it doing it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it doing it? Gold is spreading more. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Let's have a look at the other one. Is it doing it? Starting to. The gold just looks much, much thicker, doesn't it? But again, oh, there, look, that's blooming. I guess, I guess it's just because it was thinner because I added all that extra ink. When my gold paste arrives, maybe I'll have more luck with it. I think it's working. You guys look at the edges as we're, as I'm talking, we're talking, you're talking back to me. <laughs> it seems to be... Look at the scalloped edges. Oh, the gold. Actually, the gold seems to be sort of not as thick now. It's kind of shrinking back a little bit, don't you think? Do you think? Because it was really quite wide. I wonder what it's doing on the other side. Oh my gosh, I'm so keen. I love the little design though, the pattern that it's doing. All right, I'm going to go um, sit down for half an hour and then uh, I'll come back to you and we'll see what it's, what it's done in about half an hour. All those little gaps are pretty much gone. Why is it? No, there's a few little gaps still there. See those little gaps? They tend to all get filled in as the resin pulls from the outside in, pulls the colour with it. Those little holes tend to fill in. Oh, I'm excited to see what this is going to do. Alright, back in half an hour. I'm back. It's been about half an hour. And let's have a little look at what these are doing what's going on there in the middle there it's um it's like made a hole what about this one the outside's really pretty I like the gold there up against the white that's really pretty are they holes or is it just really very fine white no I don't think it's white I think they've it's made holes somehow that's bizarre this one's better. <laughs> it's always the first one I do that's better. The second one never works out as well. Edges are really pretty. The gold has seemed to gone more wispy. I'm assuming it's because it's got more alcohol ink in it. Is that a hair? Oh my gosh. I covered it and everything. The gold's gone a bit more wispy. Anyway, that's okay. We'll see what happens tomorrow when I unmold them. I'm just not sure what's going on over there with that. That looks weird. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea why it's done that. Okay, uh, we'll see what they look like in the morning. Cross your fingers for me.
Hey guys. Now I had a little peek at the back of these because you can see through. <laughs> um, they're blobby. But let's have a little look anyway. Where I thought these were actual holes is actually a very, very delicate little petal. I think that's from the uh, alcohol ink. It makes it go really wispy like that. I actually should do a test where um, I use the pigment paste but not the alcohol ink and just see what happens. And I've got this on a black background. It's just a piece of um, black paper just so that you can see better. So that's the front. I mean, I can see that the gold is a little bit sparkly, but it's very pale, isn't it? And you can see the edges of the petals there are a little bit blobby. But anyway, let's have a look at the back. There we go. These outer petals aren't really blobby. Actually, the gold petals... They're good too. It's just these these white ones here. I wonder why. It's really interesting. I like that uh, gold foil in the center. I do like that. Look at these little petals. These ones have actually worked really well. The gold's worked well. It's just the white that's gone a bit blobby. I wonder why. Anyway, that was the, probably the worst out of the two. This one, I think, is a little bit better. Let's have a look. Get him out. Let's move that one out of the way now. So this one, I think, looks better from the front anyway. We've got the scalloping or scalloping around the edges there of the petals, so that's really pretty. But let's have a look at the back. So same thing. A little bit blobby there. But the gold, the gold is fine. I wonder why. My ratio was different. The, the gold had less pigment paste to gold ratio because you know how to I added the um, the gold paint and I added the mica and I put more ink in so that was the only thing that was different the gold had less white pigment paste in comparison to the gold that's still really pretty though like I don't mind it like if you didn't know that you weren't supposed to have blobs you wouldn't even know the outer edges are fine it's just where I've gone in and like you know joined 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 there with with the petals that that's happened all right so um oh, they're not too bad actually quite like those all right um I'll um I'll set them up outside anyway and take a photo in the sunshine for you so stay tuned <laughs> 